Hello friends, here is a Soviet programmable calculator, uh, the desktop, desktop version of one of the first uh, models accessible to uh, public. Uh, it is based uh, on B321, the first handheld programmable calculator. It features uh, about 60 memory for program steps and uh, 10 registers for uh, data. Uh, I'm going to show how how it works in both uh, automatic mode uh, when we calculate as in as with a normal calculator and uh, in programming mode. So here we are. Uh, you see there is no no equal sign equal button uh, all programmable calculators work in slightly different manner uh, they rather have uh, two operational registers one of them X register is directly linked with the display and what you see in in the display is in the X register and another Y register is behind it somewhere uh, and they could be easily copied, copied or swapped between them. So here we enter the number 123 into register X and uh, we can copy it into register Y by pressing this button with up arrow. Uh, now if we enter something different into X register, for example 45, uh, and press the swap button, we see these numbers are really swapping. Uh, now uh, any binary operation like plus, uh, multiplication, uh, it works on both of these registers, uh, I mean it uh, sums y and x registers and put the result into x again. For example, here you see uh, we have that uh, 123 and 45 uh, gives us 168 and if we press the swap again we see that uh, the y register remained intact during operation. Uh, unary operations like uh, raising to power or extracting square root, uh, they work on a, on a single X register. For example, uh, these uh, operations written in yellow, uh, they should be called with F prefix. For example, uh, extract the square root. Yes, we see it works. Now how it works in the programming mode? we switch to this mode by uh, pressing uh, by pressing PRG function it uh, should be pressed with the P prefix because it is written above the button well you see here uh, here is a, a program steps counter and uh, three codes of the last uh, uh, program steps. We rewind them to beginning and uh, we can enter our uh, program which uh, simply consists of the same operations which are accessible in normal mode. For example, let us calculate the, the length of the vector with the coordinates x and y. Uh, let us assume that X and Y are placed, uh, before this program is run, are placed into the X and Y registers. So we uh, raise the value in X to power of 2 by squaring it. Uh, you see we have program counter incremented and the code of operation of squaring in the first position. Now we swap them, X and Y and uh, again uh, raised to power of 2 what is in the X register. 
Now we have two squares in the x and y and we sum them uh, and extract the square root from the result. Uh, now the only thing we need is to stop. The program there is a stop start button in when program is running it means to stop it. When program isn't running it means to start it. Well, let us switch to automatic mode and uh, reset the program counter with this view button. Uh, it either resets the counter to zero or returns the control from subroutine. Uh, and now let us enter something and uh, y. Uh, I enter it, it into x and then copy to y and uh, enter something to x. Yes, 3 and 4. Uh, let us start the program by the start stop button. You see the result is mysteriously 5. We know it is a uh, well-known triangle, uh, so we believe it's correct. We can try it with the different values, for example, uh, let us have 120 in the x or in aggregate uh, y, I mean, and uh, uh, 50 in x. Uh, then we reset the program again, reset the program counter, press the start stop, and yes, the result is here again. There are also a few commands for uh, unconditional jump this BP uh, jump to subroutine and um, you see these uh, conditional uh, instructions which allow us to uh, switch to certain places in our program depending on the content of the register X but we will speak of them later for now I think it's enough thank you very much for being with us